Here, will this impress you? Probably not. <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome once again to Black and White 2. Took a bit of fiddling to get this. Okay. Game pause? How do I turn that off? Okay, there we go. <laughs> My bad. Reestablish this village. Place nine foundations. Cool. I guess we just have to add these. Is there a way to control the rotation because it doesn't seem to want to do that? I don't remember what the controls are. Been that long already. You can also drag a building blueprint of an existing house. Move your hand over the existing house. Hold down the action button and drag to get the blueprint. If you want to cancel an action and empty your hand, simply shake it briskly left and right. Thanks. You can also help to build buildings yourself. This is God building. Yes, you do it by picking up resources the building needs. Then hold your hand over the building and press and hold the action button. This is very useful, but you do lose some of the resource in the process. Obviously, I mean, you need to spend some resources. Okay, cool. Coolio. Look at that town. What the hell? It's not dissimilar from ours. Okay, um, that, um... That wasn't good there for a second. Oh, okay, I see. You just get it close enough and then it'll auto-rotate. Cool. That's nice. Place seven foundations. Keep going. Uh, thanks, pal. So, if I just start out with it near it and then I just sort of drag it back a bit, there we go. Just so I get the right rotation down. We can also create some disciple builders to help with our city building. Just drop a villager by a house that's under construction to create one. Make right. three disciple builders. Nice. That is so cool. Why send the villagers to do a deity's work? Let's make this faster. I will provide the houses myself. Great three disciple builders. Okay, fair enough. It's part of the quest. I guess that does make sense. Okay. Cool. You need to create a disciple builder. Right, I know. Now drop the person by a building site. There. Oh, wait, no, you need to... that's not a disciple builder. I know, but we need farmers, too. I mean, come on. There we go. You there. Builder. Excellent. We've got a nice little troop of builders. Yes, indeed. Whatever you say, boyo. Poor villas. And a villa is what exactly? Oh jeez. The mouse wheel is very sensitive. Watch, watch what happens when I do it once. Jeez. You gotta do it very delicately. Oh well. So far it seems pretty similar to the original black and white. Although I kinda wish there was a temple here. You know, like a proper temple. Not just whatever that is. It looks more like a shrine to my pet than me. So what's a villa? And then a villain. Okay, I'm guessing it's those buildings right there. They have to be built now. Ah, yep, it is. Here we go. Good. You've built enough houses for now. Okay. You must get the people to multiply. Okay. Hmm. It's embarrassing talking about this. No, it ain't. He's talking about breeding. Breeding, boss. <laughs> you hear me, Goody? We need three breeder disciples to satisfy the village's needs. Drop a man or woman from your hand next to one of the opposite sex. Disciple breeders will continue forever. <laughs> In other words, to quote the Incredibles, we need them to get busy! 
Excellent. We need two more to satisfy the village's needs. Very well, then. Marvelous. You've now created enough breeders. Any disciple will carry uh, sure. on doing that one job forever unless you give them another job. Right. Right. 0.1 How am I evil? He's starting to think that this is like the first game. Although, technically in the first game, it only started making me evil once I was doing evil things, so... You know... Although, I guess that just means I'm 0.1% evil? And that I'm mostly good? I'm going to assume that's what that means. Because I'm doing nice things right now. I mean, I'm gonna throw a rock to show my f for a show of force, but I'm not gonna actually hurt anybody. What we need to do is increase our population. Now we've uh -oh. got some breeders, it should be easy to get 75 villages. Okay. No, that's not right. The green ring you see is the extent of your influence. Okay, then. I was just trying to make sure it doesn't roll back into the village, you know? We need to increase the population, I guess. Which means we need more people to get busy! Click the gold scroll when you are ready to learn about the toolbar. Okay. What the? Uh, was she giving birth- giving birth just right there on the ground? Okay. Right. Let's open the toolbar. See? There is a flag at the bottom left of the screen. All you need to do to open it is click the action button on it once. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. What's that? That is the toolbar. Good. Now click again to close it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Open it up again. The okay. The toolbar holds a series of menus. These tabs are used to navigate the different menus. The tab currently selected is the construction tab. So the menu shown is the construction menu. Each menu is divided into sub-menus. We're going to show you how to access some advanced features. Press F4 to bring up the tribute menu. Okay. This is the Temple. coolest part of the menu. The tribute is like a form of currency. You can spend it on whatever you like, including new buildings. You can improve your godly powers and add constructions or features to your town. You earn tribute by finishing challenges and doing other impressive things. We have plenty of tribute at the moment. Enough to buy a temple. Nice! I guess this is where we get a real temple going on here. You can now build a temple. This is a good thing with a capital G. Your town's impressiveness will increase. Select the temple from the construction menu, then place it down in your town. Or I'll just drag it from here. I mean, whatever works, you know? Now this is what I'm talking about. We needed a proper temple going on here. Oh yeah. Some buildings require all to be built. There are two sources of ore. The first is the ore mine. An ore deposit in the ground that can be mined by your villagers. Right. There are also ore rocks. The villagers can mine these, but at the same time, you can add them to your storehouse yourself. Right. That makes sense. I'm gonna help this temple along. No, that's not right. The green ring you see is the extent of your influence. No, that's not really? right. Really? The green ring you see is the extent of your influence. Well, clearly that's not true because I just pulled one out of outside of my influence, so you know. <laughs> you know. Let's get that temple built. Even if it's still not quite like the temple I'm used to. Boys, it'll have to do. Speed things up by using God building. Pick up some wood or ore. Hold your hand over the temple. And hold the action button to help construct the building. 
Clearly these two are morons because I've been doing that this entire time, but you know. You know. Well done. No offense, but you guys are kind of dull witted. Yeah, nitwit. Okay, increase population by 28. Very well then. I guess I have no choice. Oh, never mind. No, we don't need that. We don't need a second temple. Well, at least not right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that a second temple would help, but we if don't need it right now. A very impressive city. Then people will come from far and wide to live in it. Civic buildings are a good way to increase impressiveness. Nobody gets hurt, and we get more followers, making us more powerful. I like the sound of that. Look, those people are migrating. They want to live in our town. They're bringing all their worldly goods. Hooray! People of all tribes will be drawn from far and wide to live in a good city. We'll beat our foes the clever way. Indeed. But if I need to, I still have the option for violence. Strategic violence. I mean, even the god of the Bible has been known to get violent when necessary. Oh, the wood is just on full. That's great. Uh, storehouse. Cool. Right, I guess it makes sense. Given the fact that the wood is full. Yeah, another storehouse would make perfect sense. Let's put it at the edge of our influence. That way it might be able to increase the influence, who knows? Then again, I'm just making assumptions here. Ah, this is beautiful, isn't it? When can I do miracles? Or are those a thing in this one? I don't know. It'd be nice. But I'm not entirely sure if it's possible. There we go. Yeah, say everything works out. Probably. How is that evil? You have supplied your villagers with wood! You evil bastard! <laughs> what, what sense does that make? I want to know how that makes sense. You are supplying the needs of your vi of your people, you wicked bastard. What is this? Still don't see how that's evil, but okay. Freaking call me evil. Is it because I'm neglecting their needs? Oh, uh, they need sleep? The townspeople want to sleep. Well, how do I fulfill that need? More... I don't know, more houses or something? I don't know. These people have come to join our town. Pick up their migration flag and drop it anywhere within our influence ring. Okay. You may come into my village. Uh-oh. Let's, uh, take it to the temple. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Great One, for welcoming us into your magnificent town. You're welcome. Only need to increase the population by one now. Let's see if those breeders will, uh, get to breeding. If you know what I'm saying. Ah, there we go. Achieve the target population. Oh, yeah. Are where you can turn your people into warriors. Ah. Warriors who can take other towns and lands by force. Buying the armory is the first step towards having an army. Open the toolbar and click the tribute tab. Okay. Ah, temple! Why build that when you can build an armory? We can have both. Select the armory from the construction menu, then place it down in your town. Alright. Nothing wrong with a good old conquest every now and then. At least if they won't accept peace. You know, open yourself up to more options, I say.
Ah, we need some more ore as well. That's fine with me. Doesn't bother me, none. I'm still in this part of the game where it's still very much tutorial level. You know, that's fine. The original one had a bit of a tutorial going in, too. In fact, you had to complete the tutorial just to get your pet. So, I can't really trash on this game too much, can I? That would be a hypocrisy. Excellent. That is sweet. Got a bit of bubble here, too. Warriors form platoons. They're recruited via the flags on the top of the armory. Pick up one of the flags on the armory, then place it in the highlighted area. All right, fair enough. Dropping the flag will make a standard sized platoon. To recruit a larger platoon, hold down the action button, then drag away from the flag. Ah, I see. Cool. Oh, we've got some warriors now. Now we'll be able to defend ourselves from... people. Like the ones from the first land that completely decimated my people. All oh, armies are the best thing ever! But you're gonna need to keep them under control. So you need to know all about these here flags. Every platoon has a flag. You can see it held up high above the army, and also in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Each platoon type has a different color and symbol on their flag to make them easy to identify. This one is a swordsman platoon. The flags also tell you what rank the platoon is. Those pips along the top indicate the rank, from raw recruits to seasoned veterans. If you click on the flags in the bottom right with the action button, you pick up the flag and gain control of the platoon. Click on the flag with the move button, and you'll go directly to the platoon. And there you have it, the basics of army flags. Pick up the platoon flag, boss. All right. Ready to go. That's perfect. Click on the highlighted area to tell him to go there. If you want to cancel an action and empty your hand, simply shake it briskly left and right. Okay. Okay, boss. Let's get aggressive. With the platoon flag in the hand, click on the enemy town center. This will order your troops to take over the town. Okay, then. This seems pretty evil, but we're still in the tutorial phase. I will just learn how to do this, but not necessarily use it too go. much. I'll probably mostly use it whenever I just get bored of trying to do things the diplomatic way. You know, like in the first game. Although, things are starting to heat up. Maybe at the very least, this will improve upon the first An game. Army marches on its stomach, and these guys will eat twice the normal rate. So keep an eye out on your stores. Right. Obviously, they they're expending their energy. They's gonna need some food. Let's go. Let's go and put it in the storehouse for them. I wonder if I can actually make farms myself. Although, we've got a ton of food yeah, right here. This is it! Attack! Oh dear. Oh, you know it doesn't have to be war, leader. You can take towns by impressing them too. I know. But we're still in the tutorial phase, so I kind of have no choice, do I? I want to try everything before I decide what I want to go with. I'll try to impress most of them. I just want to weigh my options, you know? Because why not? Let's see. Let me see. Ah, wait, here we go. Creature learning. What do we have here? Creature pen. 
dwellings, civic buildings. Oh, right, civic buildings. He said that's what impresses people. Ah, temple. I guess I could build another temple if I wanted to. Okay. Okay! Impressiveness required to capture. I see. How much farther is this going to take? Hmm. Although I have two... I have two of them. I could order this one to join them. If I wanted to. Let's... While we wait, let's uh... Oh. Let's not disturb him now. Okay then. Whatever. Whatever you say, pal. Now it's towards good. Uh, this does not make any sense to me. Not only now that I'm doing evil actions. Oh. Oops. Oh, jeez. Way to go! I'm an idiot. More followers for our glorious war machine. Yeah. Now you own this town. Did I just damage my own building? The green influence ring, just like in your town, boss. Attack is the best form of defense. Get your armies out there. A newly created platoon starts at experience level one. Unless they fight, they gain experience. When the platoon's experience reaches a certain threshold, they go up to the next experience level, and with it, their skills such as fighting and speed improve. Lastly, if you want to disband the platoon, drop the platoon's flag onto an armory and let those weaklings off the hook. Got it. You see, you can win by taking over towns using force. Yes. Or by impressing the people in those other towns. Yeah, war solves everything. Well, actually, leader, you can win by a mixture of impressing and war, you know. I like and the sound of that. The time of innocence draws to a close. You must take a step down the road of good or evil. I'll be nuanced. And by the way, war is evil, and I'm evil. You get where I'm coming from. The time to choose, boss. I'll steer more towards good. Take every town on the land. All right, let's try to impress these people. And if they aren't impressed, then we war! One way or the other, th these assholes are getting impressed. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. We can go for both. He did say a mixture of war and taking and impressing. I'll try to impress them at first. And hey, if they want to be stubborn about it... No, that's not right. The green ring you see is the extent of your influence. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. To quote Eustace. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's try to get some people to migrate over. Click on the gold scroll. Once I've built the temple. You know we gotta get more impressive buildings if we want to impress these people. You do want me to go on your side, don't you? Or would you rather I go to war? That's what I thought, boyo. Although I should probably go for more silver scrolls first. Which do exist right now. Swell. Ah, uh, these people are never happy. Oh, we need food! I'm trying to press you people here. Come on. Once these establishments for myself are done, then I might offer you up some food. But not until then. Oops. <laughs> we'll see what I mean. This is what happens when you don't impress your master very much. This might happen. Let that be a lesson to you. Oh no, that is are, are my people dying? Oops. Did not mean for that to happen. 
What the hell's going on here? Right. I will provide to you this ore. Possibly. I don't know. Okay, just a little more. Just a little more. Unfortunately, my level of influence isn't very grand yet. But it will get there, maybe. Possibly. Ready to go. Okay, go back into the barracks. Wherever it is, there it is. Disband. Disband for now. Okay, come on. Let's head out. Disband. Yeah, disband for now. I don't need you right now. What do you need? Let's see what this person needs. Hey you, Greek god! If you exist, I know you can hear me. My daughter's fallen pregnant. She says no man has touched her. It's an immaculate conception. So it must be down to you. You are responsible for the child. Pay me a dowry of 1,000 wood. I I'm sorry, what? Boy, so... You Dirty dog! I know you had it in you. It wasn't him. We should find whoever is responsible and clear your good name. Something is amiss here, leader. Maybe you should see where she's going. Click on the gold scroll. Right here? This, sir? Yeah, this isn't a Jesus Christ situation here. Oh, look, a tree. Cool. Where's she going? This isn't like those follow missions from the first game where you have a chance of failing. Although I think there was only one mission that required you to do that. There you go. Paternity suit. How do I fast forward again? What is with these? Fleas? Are those ants? Okay, those are ants. Cool. Huh. Interesting. What the? What's with all the ants? Where's she going? Where is she going? I need to figure out how to make the game faster and slower. I don't know how. What the? Okay then. Well, um, I'm still f hot on her tail. She went right past someone who was a breeder, so Hi, that's... Hudson. I knew something was going on. You knew no such thing. Someone ought to let her father know about this. Okay. By the way. There's something you might want to see here. Because I'm sure you want to see your daughter doing this. I'm sure you really want to see your daughter doing this. believe it I apologize I'm so sorry for accusing you wrongly I'll make sure the child is raised faithful and true to you would you have been able to just pay him off with a thousand wood if you wanted to because that's kind of weird oh well whatever I'm not I'm not gonna get into the implications of this this is just freaking weird. And I think you agree with me. Lumber mill. Interesting. Uh, does that allow... Okay, it it's obviously for lumber. Um, uh... Preacher. Establishments. 
Rest home. Is that what they meant when they said they needed sleep? A oh, granary. I'm sure that would come in handy. Process the crops, increasing the amount of food you can produce from each field. That would be handy, but I think we may need uh, farms to begin with. Oh, birth. It didn't say death, it just said birth. Hand gestures, fertility statue, what? Okay then. Hot market column, hand forcing, what? Plant market, statue market, tavern. Torture pit, okay then. There's quite a lot of stuff here in there. Advanced gatherer. Oh, he'll get better at gathering and can carry more each trip. Well, I mean, my, my creature isn't even doing anything right now. Here, will this impress you? Probably not. Unfortunately, oh, I'm, out, I'm over my time limit here. I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like ore. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one. No, that's not right. The green ring you see is the extent of your influence. Whatever, I thought I could at least grab it while it held out. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Oh yeah, these guys got impressed and moved on. Real shame that I don't have that area of influence then. Oh well, see you later. If you like what you saw, you can find more of that in these videos right here. If you're a real junkie for video games like I am, then subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already to get your next fix, and a like and a comment are always appreciated too.